let's address the bowl for a second. And so let's turn the bowl back on. We've got it here. And you see if we select the bowl, it's got a completely different layer set over here, right? This is essentially what builds the texture set. And so a whole separate, separate set of layers. Uh, we have to do a couple things here. Uh, we want the bowl to be glass, right? And so that's going to require a different shader because there is no opacity. We couldn't make any of this see-through as it currently stands. And so we need to do that. And so if we select the bowl here and come up to the shader properties here, and we need to add a new shader instance. And with this one, there we go. Let's come over to our shader parameters here. And this will be the <clears throat> mixer. Let me rename this, All right? And so the main will become the mixer shader. There we go. I realize it's not. There we go. Mixer. And then if we come back and select the, no, sorry, we got the bowl selected. And so this one is the bowl shader. There we go. Pull that out. And then here, select this one and go to shader settings. And this is the mixer shader. There we go. Great. Um, now, in order to work with the bowl, let's select the bowl over here. Let's come to shader settings. And for this one, we want to add, let's see, alpha blending. And so PBR roughness with alpha. And so that's going to uh, do something for us here. It's going to create uh, an opacity channel. Let's do the same thing we did before. Let's select the bowl here. And let's we could bake our mesh maps back to the beginning. And looks good. We don't want to do the whole thing, just the bowl. Let it just do its thing. Great, okay. And so now in the bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and create a fill layer. And in this full fill layer, um, we, uh, if we don't have an opacity channel, it seems like it in the new version it creates one automatically, but if not, you can hit plus and add opacity, but we already have one, I think because we selected the different shader. And now uh, we have a, opacity channel. And so this allows us to make the bowl semi-transparent. So let's do it like that. Let's turn up the metallicness to get some more reflection in there. The roughness, this would make it more clearly. There we go. And those are the main ones for making this look good. All right, let's add a little bit of grunge to the bowl. And so I'm going to go to grunges and look for one that looks kind of like, yeah, there we go. I'm going to grab this one and drag it on to the roughness because this is just a texture, not a material. And that gives us some texture on the roughness now. You can see that there's some patterns there. And I'm going to do one other thing here. I'm going to change the fill layer from UV projection to triplanar. And that's gonna essentially make this so that the, the grunge we just applied doesn't get distorted based on the UVs. So that's pretty good. Great, all right, so we've made a separate shader uh, on the other texture set, and that's looking good. So now we got the bowl in there and we've got the mixer.